Hi there, this is a garden and plant update. So uh, I'm late with my garden. This is July 3rd or 4th and uh, finally getting some stuff in the ground. Um, these are my peppers. Uh, Corbachi lipstick and I forget what the other one is. Uh, these onions are going to go in and the layers are looking pretty scraggly but I'm going to put a few of them in. Um, so that's, they have to go, in. these are, these peppers I'm going to keep in the pots on the deck. These four, oh probably five. I'm going to try and find some place for these ones but these are just going to get transplanted to bigger pots and I'm keeping them on the deck. So that's that. This is my asparagus bed and it's Jersey Giant and that's the progress on that. I haven't posted the video of putting that in yet but um, that's coming along. Not all of them seem to have germinated. There was about 20 plants went in there but there's only about 15 showing. So whether they'll come later or not, I don't know. Anyway, so that's this is the other square foot. It'll be uh, runner beans on the back, uh, bush beans on this side, and then this is three peppers. Uh, I'm not sure which ones they are because I forgot to label them. So we will see when they come up. I've got onions and carrots to go in here and here. This is my garlic, seems to be doing okay except for the yellowing of the tips but it got frosted a couple of times and I've got some nasturtium self sets from last year and I've pulled a couple of them out to replant around the garden, another bean there, oh, another pepper there to find a hole for. So. Yeah, that's where that's at. And this is more or less the same. More peppers, and then bush beans are going to go in there, there, and there, and then peas along the back, and onions and carrots. And this one will probably have a marigold in it, and I might squeeze a marigold in one of the on the other side. My parsley from last year, which came back again. I guess it's a perennial. It survived the winter and it's now growing quite nicely. More nasturtiums, two different varieties there. I had a different variety, two different varieties in this bed. Anyway, again the uh, garlic looking good. Lots of flowers on the peppers, I think there's a few sets up on the deck. The one the pots on the deck are about a week ahead and I have a few sets. Pepper sets already but these are mainly flowering at the minute. So that's the update. I'm gonna put the seeds in tonight and uh, we're underway. I'm not planting any uh, potatoes this year. I had too much problem with blight last year so um, we're doing other things this year. This asparagus is my major expense this year. That cost about uh, $180, $50 for the plants and the rest was the soil. And the, foot, and the uh, cattle and sheep manure that went in underneath. Anyway, quick look at the garden. I had a lot of frost damage about a week ago to my grapes. Uh, they had about a third of the leaves got frosted and killed them. But it still looks, they're coming back again, so... It was a bad enough frost that it 
um, damaged hostas and a lot of the maple leaves were all just coming out so my vines Virginia creeper killed a lot of that and the wild grape vines did damage to them too so it was a good killing frost I um, <coughs> have some nice flower on uh, my lilac bushes this year they're uh, they didn't flower at all last year so they're hopefully making up for it this year they're just starting to come out this one's coming out nicely it's a french lilac that one didn't have much flower on it last year either and the regular lilac that was quite nice not a lot of blossoms but they were that was been a nice smell in the air for the last couple of weeks. There's my damage to my hostas. You can see. Mugelia just coming out. Peonies just coming out. Looks good in here. So that's it. That was the update. Garden's looking good. We finally got some rain. We've been dry for the last three weeks and then I think over the Friday and the weekend we had two or three days of light rain. So everything's picked up quite nicely from that. My grass over by the shed was completely dead and it's starting to come back again. And we do usually don't get that kind of dry until August. So anyway we're going to take the weather we get so that's it quick update thanks for watching